Hello my shadows and welcome back to Custom Mobile Part 18, 19, 17, I don't know what part it is. But anyway, we are about to get into a bunch of fights and I'm going to call this part probably something along the line of Brawl or Melee because it's going to be consistently fighting. My plan for this is to basically have this all be under one part where we get through all the fights because it's like a whole slew of them. And hopefully we don't get lost because I think that means we do have more to, you know, face off against. And they're going to be using... I think it was Earth and the Gatling gun. I think I'm going to stick with what I have because as you guys saw last time or the part before with the shotgun, it was not conducive at all because of how close range it has to be. And these are panic walls, which is new in arena that boasts retracting, uh, retracting walls, time the movement of the walls as you fight. So this is different than the panic room. It's called panic walls. So it's centered around the movement of the walls, which is interesting. Okay, so since this is like the, you know, I, as I showed you guys, it's the panic walls. You're going to actually want to get closer to your opponent in this fight if you are able to break out of the box quicker than them. Because otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble with the distance. Take it from me. I actually have done this fight once <laughs> before this. Because, oh, once right now before this because, um... I actually started off the fight really badly due to the fact that I started off really far away and so when I went to attack her, because I got out of my cube faster than she did, I was like, oh, I'm going to definitely get in a few licks or something, but nope, that's not what happened. She actually nailed me to the wall with her gun. It was terrible. Alright, so basically my advice for you guys is to definitely get up close and personal and don't be afraid to just do it strategically that's all not like i'm doing which is pretty reckless i just want to um make it for lost time and finish her off because i only i'm gonna try to get all these fights done in one part so i'm trying to finish these fights off like this quickly because of the fact that it's a lot we're gonna be getting through for the sake of time i'm gonna do the best i can and we have the dragon gun yes i mean a slow moving gun but at the same time it's one of my faves all I wanted was to serve Eliza well. And you had to go attack me. You make me sick. Well, you got out of my way. I mean, you could have gone into fashion school, but no. You decided to turn to a life of crime, and we got another one of you. Okay. I don't even know how Marcia, Harry, and Sergey got that far ahead. And yet, I'm back here whooping these people. Like, how did they get by them? Why are they only going after me? Oh, well. They have the splash gun, which fires three rounds, and I forgot to get the uh, dragon gun part. Dang it. Um, fires three rounds, capable of briefly stopping your foe. Short, medium range. If I keep my distance, I'll do a lot better this time. Due to the fact he only has a short range, medium range gun. And I didn't check the Holosseum, but we know what it is, I guess. I'm not going to get too close to him this time, because, like I said, it's better to fight this kind of person from a distance with his gun capabilities and oh my gosh keep away from me are you kidding me not what i want i just said keep away from me of course they're not gonna listen you know though i wish they would they make my life so much easier but yeah uh actually oh gosh i just started putting up more christmas decorations and i'm trying to think of more ideas for different things i want to know what you guys do for your christmas decorations indoors and outdoors i like Oops, I like to have nutcrackers, which we do have them set up. I like doing lights on the railings, garland on the railings. Uh, the, of course, the wreath. Wreath of Franklin, no. Um, a wreath on the door. And maybe do a light overhang over the doors as well. Like, yeah, I would like to do something over the threshold of the door. That'd be really nice. Maybe line it with garland as well over the top or around it. Are you kidding me? This is not going well. I forgot to keep my distance. <laughs> Even though I said it 5 billion times, yes, I did forget my own advice. So I did not take it, but we are done, finally. He's actually pretty tough. I think he's strong on off or, uh, offense and defense, but he's really slow. So, of course, he has, like, you know, better capabilities in that, right? I wonder if I were to go back, if I could actually go get the part. Eliza's only drawback is that she doesn't attract the most talented commanders, like me. Okay, I thought you were- so are you insulting yourself? Are you being self-deprecating right now? Uh, I don't really know. But yes, we have the dragon gun, and we have stabilizer legs. Not half bad. Okay, so let's continue onward to catch up to Marcia, Sergei, and Harry. Oh, there's a parts generator right here. Didn't have to go all the way back. Nice. I feel like I should proceed forward. 
But I don't know where to go. It's a maze. I actually wonder if there's a pathway to avoid the fights, but I don't know if there is. I don't really know. But anyway, they're going to be using this funky head model, which I believe is very slow, yes. Um, highly rated defense, na needle gun, nothing to be concerned about. And then panic walls again. Okay. You guys never get tired of using panic rooms and panic walls, do you? I think it's because they panic, and that's why they have them. To keep themselves calm. Not that it matters in this case. Not for them. How am I at five? At least they are too, but like still. No. Not my idea of a good time is to be equal to... Wow, they are actually dodging me right now. Are you kidding? They're like, oh, I'm gonna flutter by like I'm in Barbie Fairytopia. With getting my wings or something, I don't know. Isn't that the storyline of Barbie Fairytopia, where it's like Alina's trying to get her wings or something, and she didn't have them at first? Uh, I think that's the story of it, the plot behind it. She feels like um, abnormal without the wings because everyone else around her has them. And then, yeah. So it's about acceptance for who you are, even though she kind of gets the thing anyway. So is it about acceptance of yourself, or is it about conformity? I don't really know. It's actually kind of hard to tell. <gasps> With that message, it's kind of like, uh, what's the word? Contradictory? In, in a way, it seems that way, but I'd have to rewatch the movie to know for sure. My favorite of that series is probably the second one, because it's uh, with Nori, it's, uh, what's it called? Mermaidia? I think? I think it's called Mermaidia. I think that's my favorite of the series, but yeah. And then there's also, like, a bunch of other Barbie movies which are on points, but anyway, we are done. But um boom mm 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 Of course, I end up talking about Barbie in a game, or like in a, what's it called? In a video because Barbie was uh, my whole world at one point. And I even made videos for them. Waiting here alone in this dark and creepy place was bad enough. But I really don't want to faint in here. That's even scarier. At least you got some lipstick to keep you company. I mean, at least you look good. So even if you were like in a desperate situation like that, at least you look bomb though. You look bomb as the weapon I just unlocked, I think. Was it a bomb? If not, that's really embarrassing. And I made a terrible connection. And they're using the shotgun, so they can't fire very far, which is very sweet. And we're going to be doing scrambled egg walls. A more difficult version of the panic wall stage. The walls here elevate in an odd pattern, which we have gone on before, as of this part. But, yeah. It's one of the newer ones we have not yet, that we have not done very often. Excuse me. Okay. Are you kidding? Oh, I was about to say, if I had known they were going to be breaking out of the cube that quickly, I would have definitely backed the heck up. Because, no. They have a shotgun. They should not be able to fire at me very easily. I learned that from my own experience. It was really awful. Like, you don't... <laughs> oh my gosh, it was just straight up terrible. It felt like you couldn't even do anything except use bombs and paws because of how close range you have to be. It's close quarter combat oriented. And how are you almost caught up to me in HP? The heck? Get away. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. I should be moving and circling. And you're close. And I don't like that at all. So I'm going to fix it right quick. Okay. Yeah, I should have probably swapped out with to Javi Javier. Um, or no, Javelin. Because of the fact that I could use the strike vanishing ability. But... It's whatever for right now. I'm already in it, so I might as well just make do with what I got. Come on. It's because the walls are blocking my attacks. Okay, I'm too close. Back up, back up. Back up. I know he's trying to get pull me in so that way he can fire away at me, but... Nope, not today. I'm actually curious if any of you guys have seen, uh, what's it called? Is it called... 70 feet down? It's something with, um... What's her face? Mandy Moore in it, and it has, like, sharks, and she gets in this cage with her sister, and they go down. It, sometimes, it has somehow drops down, I think, the cable snaps or something like that, and they end up landing to the bottom of the ocean, 70 feet down or something like that, in the ocean, and they have to try to find their way up. Have you guys seen that? I saw it, I think, probably August or something like that. It was, like, I don't know. It was interesting. It was not... 
entirely unpredictable, but it was original to me. I lost because of the silly looking robo. I want the new robo. Oog. So you lost because your robo doesn't look good? Okay, let's go with that, lady. Um, let me get these parts from the generator if I can. Where is it? There we go. Wave bomb. Yep, I was right. It's a bomb. And quick jump legs. Nice. Hopefully we get some really good weaponry soon. I might use the dragon gun next to show it off because I absolutely... I mean, it's just my it's my gun. You know, it's what I used the most back in the day. And I just realized that I could have probably taken the left and gotten where I went to go faster. Because it looks like we're going the same way. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. They're going to be using the Earth model, the V-Laser. Okay, shh. Medium long range, that's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and use the dragon gun and see how it goes. Hopefully, I don't regret it. It's medium long range as well. And the only thing is, it fires slowly, like I said. So, yeah, there's that. I'm gonna wanna use Javelin to compensate for that. And let's do a different color. Uh, what are these short thrusts do? They decrease your dash, distan dash distance, quick jump. Um, augments descent abilities, make you less vulnerable to attacks when landing. Okay, definitely want to use these. Okay, perfect. And the Halcyum we're duking it out on is scramble walls again. What's with the scrambling? Are you trying to scramble my brains or something? Is that what it's symbolic of? I don't really know. And please don't start me back at five. Please. Thank you. Oh, crud. I forgot. <laughs> I'm using the dragon gun, not the three-way. I was so used to that. Um, but the good news about the dragon gun is that even though it's slow with the firing, it is very powerful. It packs such a huge punch. I think it does like a hundred. I think it deals like a hundred and something in damage. So I would say definitely use your pods, your bombs to get close and make up for the fact that it takes a long time to reload because, oh gosh, because of how slow it is. But, it's so powerful that you want to use it anyway. can definitely end the fight quickly if you're very smart about using it. Like, well, let me tell you. It's really good. Oh my gosh! Don't do what I do. Oh my goodness, get up! So ridiculous. I think it's also because I'm using these different legs and I'm having to get used to these two new things at once, which is my excuse, sure. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. They keep overloading me so I can't even get up, which is smart if you're my adversary, but at the same time, it's like, are you kidding me right now? I don't really care for these legs. I found that out myself just now. Not too keen on them. That's for dang sure. Let's just end this right here, right now. Come on. You know you want to go. You know you want to see the end of your story. We all do, just a little bit earlier than we should. And you're done. Peace out. Have a scout. Uh, uh, uh. Javelin. I still have not used really any other models. I've been using like the same model for the for the most part. I don't mind losing. You are pretty good, and you seem like a nice guy. Oog. I gave her like so many different accents. I don't even know where to begin, and I forgot I was going down this way. We're coming up on a new parts generator. Nope. Never mind. Psych. I thought we might be coming up on one, but maybe not till after this fight. I think it's like every two parts we get that we get to actually get to it. But it's a funky big head model. It, it's excellent at dodging attacks while airborne has a meteor storm gun. And yeah. Okay, I'm going to change legs because no. I might change my gun again after this fight, but for right now I'm going to be sticking with it. And let's go with the feather legs once again. I'm torn into pieces. Can't deny can't pretend. Just thought you were the one. Okay, so Seeker F slowly chases your opponent, deploys two at once. Um, you know, I think I'm good with what I got. Or am I? I don't know. We'll see. And it's probably going to be Scramble. Yep. Y'all are all the same. You're dressed the same. You kind of sound the same because of me. I mean, do you have any originality whatsoever? Where's your sense of individuality? Like, I don't know. Which, of course, is like one of the main complaints in wearing uniforms for school because of the fact it kind of strips you of that individuality. Um, because you all have to look kind of dressed the same. And that's the way it was with me in elementary school where we all had to wear uniforms. And 
I just didn't like it because I didn't like wearing the uniform. I didn't like the way it looked. But yeah, I also didn't like it because of the fact that it did take away what I like to wear. So the only thing was on Fridays we got to wear jeans and stuff, which was like the special day of the week where we were all excited just because of the fact it's Friday, it's a jean day, and because we get pizza and stuff like that. Because I think we had a snack hut that was there Friday, and we get pizza and we get cookies. It was really awesome. Come on. And I'd also go to Blockbuster, man. It was so beautiful back in the day. <laughs> Fridays are still my favorite day, but um, especially then when I had Blockbuster, Hollywood Video, and snack, uh, the Snack Shack to look forward to. It was awesome. And then my family would eat out every Friday. That was the other thing we did. We'd have either McDonald's or Taco Bell or Burger King. But anyway, we are done. Sonic! Bum, bum, bum. I like the background with the like the dead trees or something. They look really cool. And girl, you're all up in my business right now. Eliza's group is made up of much stronger people than Obero's faction was. They'll never let me live down the fact that I lost to you. Oof. I guess this is a dude. Actually, it looks like a dude now that I'm seeing it. And let's proceed up here. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is our third fight in a row without, like, getting any parts, but it's with Swift, which is an easy-to-knock-down Robo, which is awesome. Panic Walls this time, which is nice, and yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Dragon Gun because of the fact that uh, she's so easy to knock down anyway, it'll end it off even quicker because of the fact that it's a powerful gun with a very weak model that they're using. And wow. And how? Okay, never mind. I broke out first. Yoss! Come on, girl. Take it. You did. Come on! Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't try it. No, you did not. Like, seriously. You didn't. It was all just a dream. Hallucination. That's what we're going with, guys. A hallucination. Imagination, that is your creation. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Come on, get it. Don't hit me no more. Or I will fight you. I don't know why that song. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know why that song's been in my head, actually. In the past, I think, the week or so. For some odd reason, I've been, like, thinking about that song. And wow. I am not being very careful right now. I'm actually kind of just like. Let's just do it. Let's just do it to it. I'm just going forward without a care in the world. And that is the mistake. As you guys can tell, I'm being very, very, very risky this part and careless. But we have a drill gun, which I've been looking forward to for a while now. Couldn't you have taken it easy on me? I peruse easily. Oof. Nah. If I took it easy on you, you'd be like, wah, wah, wah. You fought a girl hard. Even though I'm a girl, you know? You would have been like, oh, you're so a racist. So, I don't I don't need to hear that mess. Um, okay, finally, we caught up with him. Good. You made it. I was starting to get worried. I thought you told us not to get separated. Did you get into any fights, Akashi? Like, how did you guys not? Why would he say, no, I didn't? What? <laughs> yeah, I did. They jumped out of the floor and attacked me. I knew it. We were worried about you. I'm glad you're all right. It looks like Eliza's already here. We have to find Rahu before she does. I'm more worried about how we get out of here. It's a dead end. Is it though? Oh, there she is. Oh, snap. Look at her league of fashion police. Ha 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 ha. So close and yet so far, Sergei. E Eliza? Where'd you come from? A warp hole. A warp hole? Yeah, Star Trek, they beam them up, Scotty. They allow you to teleport anywhere you want. It was a common technology hundreds of years ago before Rahu came. Seriously? Cool! <laughs> right? That's how advanced their technology was. Unfortunately, we've lost so much knowledge. Was it because of the memory erasure device? Perhaps. Are you done with your history lesson? You're too late. We've already found Rahu. Rahu was sleeping peacefully, awaiting his next evolution. Eliza. Sergei, don't interfere. Rahu belongs to us now. It's idiotic to think you can control Rahu. 
You have to stop this foolish plan of yours. My, isn't this a surprise? And all this time, I thought you were after Rahu for yourself. He's not selfish like that. He's not a selfish Sergei. My only wish is to see Rahu destroyed. I remain loyal to the vision of our leader. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you were always the boss's favorite pawn. Maintaining your loyalty to a corpse? How touching. <laughs> you. Sergei. So honorable. So loyal. So handsome. Rahu, on the other hand, is a different story. I find it rather enjoyable to beat handsome men in a robo-battle. Will you let me have my fun? I'll handle Eliza myself. You take care of the others. Sergei! Don't look so worried. I should be able to handle her alone. Her madness ends here. Let's go. I don't know if it's going to be that easy for you, Sergei, but we'll pretend. I actually don't remember if he's able to take her out or not, but we're going to find out in a little biddle. So we have this dower head, which is so weird, and the afterburner gun. Afterburner gun. I do like the drill gun and all, but the only thing with it is I think you have to have yeah short range, so I'm not too keen on getting too close always. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to our three way. I think that's our trusty gun to use. So we're fighting on frozen field. Something new. Final. Oh, well, not new, but like different. A field entirely covered in ice. Be careful when walking on the ground, or you shall slip. It's like a um, you know, floor that's just been mopped. That's right. Except without the, you know, sign. And actually, I just learned recently from my mom that actually about Aurora Borealis because for some reason I thought it was in Colorado, but apparently it's in Antarctica. And they, they get like six months of daytime, six months of night. Um, I just don't... I have to actually look that up because I was so wrong <laughs> about where Aurora Borealis is visible because I thought it was Colorado for some reason. But whatever. It's fine. I've never been to Alaska or Antarctica, so whatever, whatever. Actually, is it Alaska that she said? I don't remember now. Um, it's either Alaska or Antarctica. They both are kind of similar. They both start with an A, but then again, so does Pretty Little Liars is a uh, Tormentor, which I cannot believe who they revealed it to be. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm just like, wow, really? I anyway, I'm not gonna get into that. That was just like. Uh, anyway, um, so this fight's not going the best <laughs> that I've ever done in my life, but, you know, it's going okay. Kind of swell. Not really. I really always like the look of this Holiseum. Like I said, I, have, I, um, I'm considering doing a, my, my favorite Holiseums in the game kind of video because there's so many nice ones. I haven't unlocked every single one, apparently, even though I've beat this game, like, two times before maybe three but I apparently don't have all of them unlocked so I'm curious to see how to get that and to see what my favorites would be if I have all of them and we now have freeze bombs nice I I'm sorry Eliza Sergey I'll keep her occupied the rest of you go I'll catch up with you later how dependable I'll be there in a little bit so please wait for me. I do remember what happens, actually. Hurry! Go! We have to hurry. Destroy Rahu before it awakens. Got it! Let's go, Marcia. Kakashi? I've never seen Sergei so animated. Sergei, we'll be waiting for you. Girl, don't even worry about it. You gotta worry about yourself. So, we're about to be going onward, and I'm gonna end things off in a little, because we actually have a fight coming up, so... I'm gonna save it for the next part. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Eliza, weren't you just over there? Who is you? Oh, Isabella? Well, if it isn't you, we meet again. What? What's going on here? She caught up to us already? You really do say the most curious things. Did Sergei lose? What? That... That can't be... I'll kill you! Marcia! Whoa, girl, calm down. Marcia, don't! You can't win alone! Yep, she smacked her aside. Like, girl, bye. You're not even dressed for the occasion. Marcia! 
Hey, are you okay? Harry, does she look okay? Like, for real? Oh, snap. There goes Eliza. There's a hole in that bucket, dear Eliza. A hole. Having fun, Isabella. All right, what's going on here? You're a genius, Kakashi. Figure it out. Did I get hit a little too hard? Or are there two Elizas? You're seeing double, girl. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Don't worry, Marcia. I see them too. Oh, Eliza. Where have you been? Sorry. I was just finishing up with Sergei. It was so fun. <laughs> I can't leave you all alone for a second, can I, sister? Oh, you've got it all wrong, Isabella. I was giving him a lesson. I was teaching him that interfering with us was an act of almost inconceivable idiocy. They're twins. Twins. Evil twins, no less. Not just one being evil, but both of them. And now you guys see how she didn't remember us when we talked to her another occasion. Yeah, Eliza's the one we fought at the lab. And... And Isabella's the one we fought at Damon. Yep, you're right on the money. Eliza, do you mean to imply that you killed Sergei? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm nothing like that lunatic Obero. I just toyed with him until he decided he needed a nap. <laughs> we have to get past them if we're going to reach Rahu. And we've got to stop Rahu from evolving. Did you just say that you were going to stop the evolution? Like X-Men evolution, yep. Does that mean you have our memory erasure device? Oh, no! Oh, this is good. I searched everywhere in that lab and I couldn't find a thing. I didn't know you had it. Oh, that's wasted effort. Now, now, calm down. All we have to do is take it from them. We must not hesitate. Kikashi, let's do it. Are we gonna get parts first? Like, please. Such enthusiastic lads. Well, I will go easy on you this time. Say goodbye. Oh, guess we're not going to. Okay, we're not going to be able to get our parts. But anyway, in the next parts, we're going to be facing off against Eliza and Isabella. So it'll be an interesting showdown. Anyway, I'll see you all then. Bye, guys, and smiles all around.